Hello guys, welcome to Jhook and in today's session we are going to see what is command line runner interface in Spring Boot application. As you can see on the screen, on the left hand side this is my IntelliJ and this is my Spring Boot class where we are going to implement our command line runner interface and on the right hand side this is my guide which I have prepared so you can find all the instructions for command line runner interface in this guide. I'll put the link of this guide into the description section so you can come back and check all the code and the classes. Okay, here in this guide, you can see this is the piece of code for Spring Boot application which implements command line runner interface which I have uh, written over here. So we are gonna implement the same. So first of all, go over here and uh, write your implementation for command line runner. So this is how we are gonna do. And after that, it will ask us to implement its default run method. So I will say implement, implement run method, click OK. And here you can see this is our main method of our Spring Boot application and this is the run method which is provided by uh, command line runner interface. Now how will it work uh, whenever we are going to run this Spring Boot application so first of all our main method is going to execute but before it exits before this main method exists we are going to call the run method also. So this is the basic idea behind the command line runner interface. Okay, to uh, proceed further, first of all, let's add some logger. So this is my logger because we are gonna print some log messages so that it will be easy to understand this concept. Okay, uh, I'll correct the Spring Boot application name over here. Okay, that's done. So this is my logger. Okay, next thing which I'm gonna log, I'm gonna log over here so that we can see our Spring Boot application has started. So I'm gonna add this very basic logger. Okay, that's done. I'll add some new line so that it's easy to see. Okay, and I'm gonna add one more logger. I'm copying just this code from here so it's easy and fast for you. Otherwise, it might take some time for me to type all this information over here. So I'm gonna paste. Okay, so this is the first logger message we are gonna get once we start our Spring Boot application. So that will tell start Spring Boot application starting. And then this is the stop once our main method has executed. Okay, but in between this start and stop, we are going to execute this run method also. Okay, so for that, uh, I'm going to put some logger over here and that will tell like we are inside our uh, command line runner run method. So here we are saying executing command line runner. So that means we are executing this run method. Okay, and there is a very simple for loop where I'm printing the values, nothing special. I should reduce the count to five and that should be okay. Okay, so here I'm iterating the count and that is uh, the value I'm printing over here in the log message. So what I'm expecting over here, I'm going to execute my Spring Boot application. First, I'll get this message. Then I will execute my run method. And before the run method completes, we are going to execute the, this run method also. That is of command line runner interface. Okay, and then we are going to see the exec, uh, in the logs, uh, this uh, executing command line runner and as well as this uh, iteration of the i value. Okay, and after that, so first we are gonna get this. So I'm just gonna put the number one, then we are gonna see this two, and this is the final one, then we are gonna see three. So this is how the execution will work. And this is how our run method will be executed. So this is the very basic idea behind the command line runner interface. All right, let's execute our Spring Boot application with command line runner interface. Now we are expecting some log message over here in the sequence 1, 2 and 3. So here you can see this is the first log message which I got that is first starting our Spring Boot application and then second executing command, command line runner interface method. So that means we are inside this method. So first we got the log message this starting our Spring Boot application, second executing command line runner interface. So this is our second message and these are the counts of my i variable which I incremented. And finally, this is the third stopped uh, our Spring Boot application. So this is the sequence uh, by which our code flows. So once you implement the command line runner interface, so this is how it gonna work. So you can implement any business logic uh, which you want to implement before the execution of your, before the complete execution of your run method. So whatever you write over here, that's gonna execute. And that gonna execute before 
this complete uh, Spring Boot application man method or run method execution completes. So this is how you're gonna use the command line runner interface. I hope you like this today's short session on command line runner interface and if you are interested into similar content then please follow my channel that is uh, jhook and you can find this one over here on my blog also where I keep on uploading the similar content on DevOps, Kubernetes, Helm chart and uh, Spring Boot applications also. So do follow my channel and also put down any questions uh, or comment uh, into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.